Hi guys and girls, I am Raj Saha and if you are new to my channel, I switched my career from mainframe developer to a principal solutions architect at AWS in my late 30s after being told by many it was too late to make such a change. Currently, I am a stealth startup founder focused on helping people transform their careers. Let me show you some of my students who made similar career switches. First of all, congratulations on getting a solutions architect job at AWS. Well, thank you, thank you. This would not have been possible without your help and guidance and mentorship. What results did you achieve? Ultimately, I got selected solution architect at L6 level and all credit goes to you. Hey Giovanni, first of all, congratulations on getting two AWS Solutions Architect jobs. Thank you very much. I have two job offers. The problem nice. I have to solve now is which one to take. Sharath, first of all, congratulations on your double Solutions Architect job offers. Thank you so much, Raj. It was not possible without your help. Arnav, first of all, big congratulations on getting a Senior Solutions Architect job at Microsoft Azure. Thank you for the congratulations, Raj. Sungjin, first of all, congratulations on your Solutions Architect job coming from on-prem developer. Uh, thank you very much. Hey Chandra, congratulations on your Solutions Architect job. Let's take a look at the framework I and hundreds of students that I have personally worked with have used to transform their careers. I call it LED. Let's start with L, which is leverage past. Your existing IT experience is not throwaway. You can reuse components of your existing knowledge in your cloud journey. For example, my mentee and SA bootcamper Rukmani came from a software engineering background. She showcased how to develop, test and deploy her code on the cloud. And after she learned the associated AWS components for interviews, she got into AWS as a solutions architect with a significant salary hike. In my case, I worked with SQL databases and COBOL on the mainframe for over 10 years. I learned what SQL databases are available on AWS, the difference between them and DB2, which is the mainframe database, how to migrate data from mainframe to the cloud databases and associated technologies. To my surprise, the approach to cost optimizing DB2 is the same as that of RDS. Check utilization, adjust underlying virtual machine sizes, tune queries, use indexes, and some additional AWS concepts. Because I am not showing these use cases in a vacuum, instead building on top of my existing expertise, it is more appealing to recruiters. And I can handle interview questions better because I can reuse my existing knowledge. If you are currently a tech lead who has to influence many team members in a certain direction, you can leverage that knowledge for solutions architect roles. I have many such examples from my SA bootcamp where candidates use their existing experiences to switch careers to the cloud. Okay, let's define the next part of the framework. A lot of you reached out to me and said, the recruiters are not picking you. You have given multiple interviews, but you failed. This is where many strong technical candidates stumble. They think they answered the question. After the rejection, they genuinely believe the interviewer just did not like them. I used to believe that too, until I started sitting in the debrief sessions after interviews, and I saw the real reason candidates were rejected. Let's take a real example. SA bootcamper Anuj was in this boat. He gave multiple interviews and he answered the questions right, but he repeatedly got rejected before joining the bootcamp. Here is the thing. You have to excite and delight the recruiter and interviewer and not just meet. Giving just the right answer or average answer is not enough. What it comes down to is that there is so much competition in the market. You have to set yourself apart at every stage. You work hard and you do a lot of projects and a lot of hands-on and you studied a lot, but being good is not enough. You have to prove you are good 
to the recruiter and interviewer. How do you do that? Think about how you can set yourself apart. For example, instead of saying, I have done cost optimization on AWS, which is too generic, say, I saved over 30% in costs quarterly using tools like Compute Optimizer, Spot Instances, and Reserved Instances. Similarly, for a question like, can you tell me about a microservice you have designed on AWS? Avoid generic responses like, I used an application load balancer with EC2 auto scaling group, and then it distributed the traffic across those auto scaling group. A better answer could be, I designed a microservices system with Route 53, directing traffic to a load balancer using path-based routing to independent scalable microservices. Each microservice used different technologies and scaling criteria, ensuring flexibility and minimal interdependence. Boom! This is how you set yourself apart and delight the interviewer. Oh, and Anuj, he just cracked a senior vice president role at JP Morgan Chase with 60% salary hike after finishing my bootcamp. Yep, you heard that right. All right, let's get into the last part of the framework. In 2021, my friend told me that if I invested in crypto, I would make a lot of money. So I bought a bunch of altcoins. Another friend told me to learn day trading. Another told me that real estate is the only way to become rich. I tried them all at the same time and nothing worked out. We saw previously that to get a job, you need to delight the interviewer. And to delight, you have to go beyond surface level answers. There are so many people with surface level knowledge on the market, anyone focusing on one thing is beating the folks trying different things. Pick a path based on your interests, which adds on to your existing experience. A person with a passion for a specific domain will always beat someone who is studying different things. When Yonan came to my SA bootcamp, he had his hands in everything in the fear of FOMO. Gen AI, analytics, data engineering, machine learning, SRE, platform engineering, AWS, Azure, and more. As a result, he succeeded in none. And after he focused on one guided structured path, he got into one of the hottest companies right now, Databricks. If you are one of those people who wants to switch your career, but feel overwhelmed and stuck and want more hands-on guidance, check out sabootcamp.com. I personally run this bootcamp with live classes covering technical, behavioral, mock interviews, one-on-one -on -one sessions, hands-on, LinkedIn, resume improvement, and more. Past students got high-paying jobs, including at AWS, Microsoft, Google, Databricks, JP Morgan Chase, Reddit, and more. You can waitlist there to get further details for the next cohort. But even if you don't want to get into the SA bootcamp, no hard feelings at all, but keep this LED framework in your mind and use that to switch that career. And don't let anyone tell you you are too late to change your career and go to a better position. With that, keep learning and keep rocking.